There it is, another review of this uh, Android radio. I was gonna do a little boot up to let you know on how long it is for this thing to kick on. Sorry. So it does take about 20 seconds or 30 seconds for this thing to actually um, fully boot up, but uh, I was able to get the sound working just right factory, if not better, with this on. There's this uh, option on there to go into the amplifier and actually edit all the um, options on there. So um, that was a... That was a huge relief. I was able to get that done. I figured that out this morning. I was messing with it, going into some of the options, but there's a option to go into this console, and there's amp, amp info down here. I was able to mess with this and uh, amp switch. That was that was powered off, so I was able to turn that switch on, and now I have uh, stock, uh, if not better, sound. And uh, somebody had asked earlier, I was trying to go through some of the lists of people asking questions, was uh, everything's still responsive, the steering wheel controls, on uh, the display on the steering wheel, all that stays stock on for the on the, the um, screen on the dash inside the um, instrument cluster. But uh, I'm not sure about the navigation turn by turn. I don't know if that works. I, I never used it or never really, I had that off in the first place during my, so I don't know if that's going to, I don't think it'd, it'd work with the navigation on the screen because uh, you've disconnected the the cables for the stock um, stereo. But um, the sound is great. Um, happy, happy with that. <clears throat> uh, all these buttons are they feel factory-ish. It's everything is um, real responsive, real quick. On um, somebody asked about the colors on the HVAC I don't think you could change it there might be an option to change the colors but I'm not sure if you can or not but on all the buttons on the side is our everything works great and quick hit home on navigation does have on the standalone navigation it goes to this I go system on the issue I see with it is uh, I have to. Get, I'm getting an update sent to me from the company because it's all based out of on. You try to find a place here in the U.S. and it doesn't have give you an option. If you try to type in the U.S., it takes you to Oman or places like that. So it needs to have an update sent over. If you try to America, it'll still take you to the same options. So um, it's pretty quick. But what I what I was doing is on if I needed to use it. I would just go to uh, Google Maps, and it'll do the. It's going to be better than that the iGo, and you could just use that as your navigation. And I have it set up through on a hotspot on my phone going on here. On um, everything is really fast, responsive. Still, the, the the problem I had earlier was with the phone link trying to connect your phone to mirror on the screen, and I've got it intermittently doing that. But it's it's. It's not as intuitive as you would think it would be. I don't know about an iPhone. I don't know if it's going to just connect right up and be no issue at all. But being Android to Android, you think it would be real easy. I tried to use my tablet. on. It would do it. You could plug it in and it would work, works fine if you have it plugged in. But that I didn't want to have to have it plugged in every time needing to do it. So that's still an ongoing uh, issue. And I, I'm going to be contacting them. And another thing is uh, they had sent me the wrong unit. I asked for the 2 gig. RAM and 64 gig on memory, and they sent me the one gig one. I just noticed it. I don't. I'm an idiot, I guess. I, I just didn't look at the specifications on this when I when I got it. I so I had to go into the um, actually the Android screen to show that my storage was only 27 gigs. So they're going to be sending me a new one, and I got to send this one back. But um, hopefully everything works there, and um. It's just still getting used to it, still figuring things out, still trying to get it figured out. Like, like the backup camera, you guys are asking. I'm uh, happy with that. It's still, you could do it when you're driving. You could do it anytime. You don't have to have it in reverse. You could have a full screen or just do it in uh, the half screen mode. On, it's it's still it's still pretty. Uh, I'm still happy with it. That phone link. I'm I'm just gonna hopefully that's figured out. 
um, but the, the biggest part was the sound and I, I'm glad that is working and that, that's the biggest thing. If you don't have a stereo, uh, the sound's going to be the best and, uh, and I think it's a factory if not better. So that's kind of this little update. Any questions you guys, feel free to message on YouTube or on that uh, Tundra's forum. Um, Alright, thanks.